Today is day three of uh, our Compostelle adventure. And people say usually that the third day is the hardest day. And it kind of started out this way. We get up early in the morning and uh, I do have a retainer for my teeth because without it, my teeth have a mind of their own and they're just moving around like crazy. So I put the retainer into a glass of water to rinse it. And then I realize, oh, there is something floating in the water. What is that? Is it a fly or an insect? So I just took the water and ditched it out of the window, only to realize two seconds later that I actually had thrown away my retainer with it. So I ran down to the parking lot and uh, looked for this retainer on the white gravel, which, you know, it's kind of hard to find a clear thing out of plastic on white gravel. But the same black writing, which I mistakenly had taken for a fly, helped me also to find the retainer very easily. And the lesson for the morning was, well, what about looking at always the two sides of everything? And what about flexing your reframing muscles a little bit more? So during the hike, I just took the pain in my shoulders as a reminder to be in my body and out of my head or someone says, as long as it hurts, you're still alive. And to look forward to the little massage Danielle gonna give me this evening because of the pain. The backpack that is heavy and full became a cornucopia of all the wonderful clothes that have served me well in the last two days. Even that weather that we had, uh, which was rather wet and, uh, and windy, brought now the perfect hiking conditions because just a week ago, the temperature was still in the 90s and it would have been way too hot. And even Danielle found a way to reframe me. You know, in the morning when I look uh, at all her stuff and make sure that she doesn't forget anything, she can sometimes be a little annoyed about that. But now she just called me, I'm the shepherd. I hope she meant the human and not the dog, but I'll take it anyhow. So the point of the three, of the third day was simply that uh, life can be quite beautiful. We just have, you know, to choose to see it this way. Until tomorrow, bye.